But I think that's what's so important about what you're doing, and I wanted to be clear, because in politics and in social justice, when they say use hip-hop, they're talking about, let me just have rapper so-and-so, you know, come on the stage mm -hmm. in order to gather a lot of people in the crowd. And then and, parrot what I want them to say Right, about, and yeah. then they're not really... That's why I said the accountability to heal the story that hip-hop tells. So even if we are talking about the bad things that have happened in the community, there should be accountability to heal it. So when politicians are saying, hey, such and such, come rap about this. Okay, but are you going to heal mm -hmm. what he's rapping about? Meaning, are you going to put funding behind it? Are you going to put programs behind it? Are you going to, you know, actually deal with it? You know, and so I think there's room, room for that conversation so as well. So it's interesting that you bring that up because I think you have a very unique perspective from your time in the military and your time as an activist and organizer. You're very focused on mission accomplishment and what it means to win. I think a lot of people don't really know or have a grasp of what that is. To you, what does a win in social justice look like? Yeah, and, and thank you for asking that, because one of the things that moves people out of social justice is the word win, because they're looking for the, the, fi the, the, the final of it all. You know, they're looking for it. Hey, we didn't win, and, and especially with so social media, because it's so easy to be disappointed. And so when something doesn't go their way, they don't see that long path on that arc to justice. This, a, a win for me is every day going to sleep. When, I, when people say rest in peace, I rest in peace every single night, knowing that I put it all on the table, mm. that I put it all on the line, that I did all I can. I can. D, for you, so uh, yeah. when, you're, when you're building this um, consumer activist, that has this elevated view of hip hop and what's edifying and what's culturally nutritious, what's a win for you? A win for me is for people to be bold enough to say there's some stuff just because it's created by us that they can say it's not healthy for us mm. and we could do without that. And that's, very, and that's very tough for people to be that bold, man. That is very tough for people to get to that point because it doesn't come from a place of, I don't like you or, or I think you're a bad person. It comes from a place of I love you because I'm called to love everyone. My goal, Van, is to create consumers as well as creators who elevate to that higher level of consciousness to where they, they go beyond what's just being offered up. Because as we know, what's being offered up has an agenda attached to it. And that agenda is not what's best for us as a people. That is coming from a place of desperation or that's coming from a place of, hey, I'm just willing to do anything to make me some money, so I'm gonna make this type of music, or I'm gonna consume this type of music, not because I don't know better, but because it's just a low-hanging fruit, and it's just being fed to me all day. I made an intentional decision to be a part of hip-hop in such a way that is like purpose-driven and trying to help people to heal from what we've been traumatized by over the years, which is racism, discrimination, poverty, generational curses, just the devil in general, you know what I mean? I've made the decision to do it in my life. Like, I come up in the Ninth Ward of New Orleans, the murder capital of the country. I could be the light-skinned Lil Wayne. I could easily say, oh, that's an easier path to success. But I intentionally chose to say, I want to use my slingshot to defeat the Goliaths in this world. And those Goliaths consist of negativity, racism. They consist of ignorance. They consist of us not loving one another. So that's why I use my music to glorify the fact that, yeah, I'm proud to say that I'm educated. I'm proud to say that I have made a decision to use hip hop in order to, you know, take the narrow road in life. Like, people need to see that it's possible, yo.